Hey guys, it's me Elise and I hope that you guys are all doing well. I'm back with a new video. So I have a new wig from a company called I Like Hair. I will leave all the information and details in the info section below. So be sure to check that out. So here's everything that I received with my wig and the wig that I decided to pick up this time is their 13 by 4 inch hyper realism kinky edge kinky straight lace frontal high definition ventilated wig and this is what it looks like you guys do notice that this wig has those kinky edges that i'm always here for it's made to mimic our natural growing edges and to look super realistic and i'm here for it here's the cap construction you do notice that you do have the option to use their uh, removable adjustable strap so therefore you get a custom fit and once again here is the wig so before we get started i'm going to go ahead and bleach my knots you guys all know i like to use my clairol collider colors bleaching powder and then this is the blue one and also my 30 volume cream developer i'm just going to go ahead and bleach my knots just to make this wig look a little more realistic So I've allowed the bleach to sit on the knots for about 25 to 30 minutes. You definitely want to keep an eye on it because you do not want to over process your hair. It's just going to lead to breakage and excessive shedding, which you do not want. So once again, keep an eye on it. I'm now going in with my clarifying shampoo just to remove the, that excess bleach from off of the hair and from off of the lace. Then you guys are going to see me use my silicone mixed conditioner because I really want to get a good deep condition on this wig. Now one thing that I did notice with this hair is that I received absolutely no shedding whatsoever. Typically when you comb through a wet wig you're going to get a little bit of breakage, a little bit of shedding but I didn't get any and I was super happy about that. So this is actually a really good wig and y'all I'm here for it. <laughs> So typically now I'm usually like tweezing the hairline and making it look more realistic. However, I'm not going to do anything but just do a little bit of pre-styling. I will be flat ironing this wig once it's dried, um, but I decided to put this wig in a middle part and I really want this wig to lay flat and look super realistic. So therefore I just added a little bit of mousse. Now I'm brushing everything down, but I'm not going to touch the edges just yet. I want those to, to remain in its kinky form and looks super realistic. So pretty much I've allowed this wig to air dry overnight and we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and silk press this wig out. I have my flat iron set to about 400 degrees I believe and I'm doing anywhere between two to three passes and one thing that I love about this hair is that no matter how many passes I do it maintains its kinky texture so it just looks like a real nice silk press y'all and it looks super realistic kind of like how my natural hair looks when I get a silk press and I'm just like amazed by this so I'm going to continue to flat iron this hair and I'm not going to touch the edges I don't recommend you guys hot combing the edges because you're going to lose that kinky texture so flat iron everything else but leave the edges alone if you want that natural look to remain with within this wig
you guys get into this hairline now you guys cannot tell me that this doesn't look like we can grow this ourselves um, but one thing that I appreciate about this wig is that it does have that high definition ventilated lace allowing air to pass through making it so much easier to care for your hair underneath the wig now if you do notice that your edges begin to kink or curl up just take a small tooth comb and just comb those backwards it'll make the edges look more realistic you guys look at that <laughs> oh my god like it looks just like my natural hair so I'm gonna go ahead and get the wig on and you guys notice how this lace just literally melts in with my complexion I didn't have to tint the lace. I didn't have to apply any foundation, nada, nothing. However, if you are a little bit darker than me or a lot darker than me, do definitely keep in mind that you may have to tint this lace or add a little bit of foundation. I find that the foundation route is a lot more easier, um, but it'll look absolutely flawless with your skin tone, but do definitely keep that in mind. So I wanted to let you guys see how realistic these edges look. <laughs> I mean, don't don't adjust my edges too much. I, mean, I know they're kind of thinning a little bit, <laughs> um, but this wig definitely makes up for the lack of edges that I have. <laughs> so pretty much I can get a very realistic look from a wig and nobody will know that I'm wearing a wig. Like nobody will know. <laughs> and I'm like super amazed by this but i'm going in with my melt me down spray i'm going to go ahead and get this lace nice and melted down So here is the finished look. You guys definitely let me know what you guys think about this wig. I am in love with it. Now the last kinky edge wig that I have, I felt like they needed some work. They had some bald spots going on. I kind of peeped a little bit of shade with that, but I love how this company definitely redeemed it. And they are definitely keeping our needs and our desires in mind. And I love a company who keeps a black girl's desires in mind because it just kind of makes us feel like we actually do matter here in the process of this wig. Now the texture, the density, the fullness everything about it is super realistic you can definitely pull this wig back you can put it in the side part you can have it going all the way to the back it looks super realistic and here's just a close-up on the edges now I kind of wish that I sort of pulled it down a little bit in the front because it's exposing too much on my forehead and I have to learn to you know pull my wigs forward some I haven't learned that just yet because you know I embrace my big forehead um, but you guys once again get into this wig I will have all the information and details located in the info section below also use discount code twins25 to save 25% off of your purchases so pretty much I like hair guarantees that what you see is what you get so whether it's being sent to an influencer for review purposes or being sold to a customer rest assured that the quality is being met by the unified standard and pretty much what I have is what you're going to receive so if you like this wig y'all definitely check out I like hair <laughs> but once again let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys soon bye guys